One person is dead, another person is wounded, and someone just driving by had their car pierced by a bullet. This happened just off Richmond Highway at the Prince William Parkway near a Marumsco Plaza shopping center, and that's where our Bruce Lachan joins us live tonight. Bruce. Yeah, Lorenzo, police tell me that they got multiple calls to 911 for this shooting, and when they got here, they found a pretty awful scene. First, they found a man shot once in the lower body. Then security guards told officers there was another victim in the shopping center next door, shot repeatedly. Medics rushed both men to the hospital where doctors were unable to save 27-year-old Akeem Rashad Williams. You believe this was targeted? We believe that this was a, a, not a random incident. We collected evidence at the scene that suggests that uh, this was definitely not um, something that occurred out of the blue, and, and this was definitely not random. On busy Route 1, just before 9 on Monday night, someone simply driving by was also hit by one of the rounds. Do you believe this was just an innocent passerby whose car got hit? We don't believe that, that the person that was um, struck, that was driving, or the vehicle that was struck, that was driving by had, had anything to do with the situation. Victim Akeem Williams struggled from at least age 19 when police charged the teenager with burglary, conspiracy, obstruction, and eluding. Four years later, he was charged with breaking into a house and stealing two guns. Now he has been murdered in a troubled block where less than a year ago, a woman was shot and killed. We uh, haven't had a lot of success so far in speaking to anyone that was uh, in the area at the time. Now, police say they are following some leads, but they really need some help. They are encouraging anyone who saw anything, no matter how trivial, to call them. This was the second shooting of the day in Prince William County, the second homicide of the year on January 4th. A three year old was shot to death and four teens were seriously wounded. Leslie and Lorenzo, back to you guys. Yeah, sadly, this is becoming the thing that seems to be taking up so much of our news time these days, regardless of where we live. The boundaries don't seem to change. 